Tony Ferguson versus Cowboy Cerrone, who won? Tony Ferguson dismantled. Tony Ferguson it could be even better than I thought. He, he is just so smooth and he's so slick. And what I mean by slick is you don't know what body part he's gonna use to hit his opponent. You don't know if he's gonna punch his elbow, his knee. He's just very clever. His fight IQ is what separates him from the pack. Cowboy Cerrone, he's a true warrior. He's a true beast, but he just couldn't outsmart Ferguson. Ferguson's pressure is relentless. He just keeps coming forward. Tony Ferguson is like the Terminator. He just keeps marching forward, very similar to, to Triple G in boxing. Just keeps moving forward, keeps moving forward. Okay, so that punch at the end of the second round that Cerrone sustained, that was nothing. That did not cause the damage to his eye. They're blaming it on him blowing his nose. But when did you ever actually see that happen before? Okay, yeah, you're probably not supposed to do it. But even if he didn't blow his nose, his eye still would have been messed up. He had an orbital fracture. The orbital fracture on his eye, that wasn't from blowing his nose. He had, he had an orbital fracture. Like his, his cheekbone, the bone surrounding his eye, it was fractured from all the damage, all the punches he took. That wasn't from blowing his nose. So any, anyone, any fight fan or any fight commentator who's, who's saying that Cowboy Cerrone blew his nose and that's what stopped the fight, that wasn't the issue. They should have stopped that fight before he even started blowing his nose. He was taking a lot of, a lot of soft punches. They're, I call them soft punches, but I mean a soft punch is just a punch that doesn't knock you down, but it still causes damage. Right, a soft punch, like a punch, a jab. He was taking a lot of damage, unnecessary damage for the future of his career. He was getting peppered with shots. So the fight that we as fight fans should expect is Khabib versus Ferguson. That's the fight that they've been trying to make. It's gotta happen. There's some issues with Tony Ferguson not having enough fans or the UFC not thinking he's marketable because he is constantly, it seems like he's constantly being held back for a title shot. I know he was injured once and he had to pull out, but he, he should have come back to a title shot. You know what I'm saying? He should, have, he, he should have fought for the title when he was healthy. When he recovered, he should have been offered a title shot. He deserves a title shot. Cowboy Cerrone is a true warrior. Um, who knows what's next for Cowboy, but that fight was awesome. We should look forward to Khabib, to Khabib versus Ferguson. Man, ah, Tony Ferguson trains out here in Costa Mesa. I should stop by and visit him and try to get an interview with him. The techniques that he has, they're so unorthodox. You don't know where the punch, the kick, the elbow, the knee's coming. He just fights a free-flowing free style fight. It's almost as if he has his own style, if that makes any sense. Like you can't categorize him with just one style of fighting. All right, so anyways, you heard it here. That fight was totally justified when, it's, when they stopped it in, at the end of the second round. Cowboy couldn't see out of his eye, but that illegal punch, that, that wasn't what caused the damage. So justifiable TKO, via um, shots to the face. Tony Ferguson did a great job. All right, don't forget, if you haven't done so already, subscribe.